Here's why the soon to be revealed Model S with a Plaid powertrain will beat the Lucid Air when it comes to performance. I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Roughly a year ago, Elon Musk and Tesla made public that they were bringing out a Plaid powertrain and they would be bringing this out in the Model S and also the Model X. Also with these announcements, we saw articles like this showing the Model S with the Plaid powertrain being track tested. While we don't have all the details yet for the Plaid powertrain, we are aware of a few basic facts. One, we know it will have three motors. We also know it's a similar powertrain that will be used in the upcoming Tesla Roadster, the new Roadster coming out soon. This should also be the same powertrain or a version of it that they use in the upcoming Cybertruck with the three motors. Before we dive into the rest of this video's content, I wanted to take just a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help me make this content and bring it to you. A special thank you goes out to my performance supporters, Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial, John Money, and Inku Kang. Also, thank you to these other supporters listed at the bottom of the screen. In just a minute, I'll dive into some of the expected performance characteristics of the Model S with the Plaid powertrain, and I'll support this with some data that I have. But before that, I want to talk about the current Model S performance version versus the Lucid Air. And I did put out a full video about this, but I just want to highlight how that vehicle compares to the Lucid Air right now. As you can see from this chart, if you compare the 2021 Lucid Air Dream Edition, which is obviously more expensive, but when you look at the top speed and the quarter mile time, it has very impressive performance. And its performance does beat out the Model S performance being manufactured right now. But as I talked about in a previous video, this is simply comparing an upcoming car, one that's coming out next year, to a car that is currently being sold. Tesla is obviously, as we've talked about, developing a faster and better Plaid powertrain, so it will be better to compare the Plaid powertrain to the Lucid Air. So why am I confident that the new Model S with the Plaid powertrain will outperform the Lucid Air? There are two big reasons, and now let's cover those. The first big reason why I am confident that the Plaid Model S will outperform the Lucid Air is because Elon Musk is very competitive by nature. But I believe one of the most vivid and best examples of this competitive nature actually resulting in a new product is the fact that I believe the Plaid Model S is a result of the Porsche Taycan coming out. Tesla does not like to be second, and when Porsche put out their Taycan and it appeared to be faster than the Tesla Model S, Tesla had to do something about this. Notice the following timeline of events. In August of 2019, Porsche put out a press release talking about their new Porsche Taycan setting a record at the Nürburgring. Porsche was able to claim the title of the fastest time for a four-door all-electric sedan. The Porsche Taycan was able to achieve a time of 7 minutes and 42 seconds. The following month, in September of 2019, Tesla began track testing their new Plaid Model S and it was reported by a German auto magazine that they were able to beat the Porsche Taycan's track time by around 20 seconds. Elon Musk even tweeted out right around this time that he expected that even these impressive track times would be beaten by the actual production model. Tesla's official Twitter channel echoed this saying that 7 minutes and 5 seconds may even be possible. Also in November, Electrek reported that Tesla apparently beat their own record and was able to achieve a time of 7 minutes and 13 seconds, which is definitely getting close to that 7 minute 5 second target. As you can see from this recent example of Tesla's history, Tesla is very competitive and Elon Musk is very competitive by nature. So one of the biggest reasons why I'm confident that the new Plaid Model S will beat the Lucid Air when it comes to performance is because Tesla, even if right now the Plaid powertrain did not beat the Lucid Air, they would make sure that it did before they launched it. However, as I'll talk about in just a minute, I believe the Plaid powertrain currently in the prototypes of the Plaid Model S is already better in performance than the Lucid Air. I am confident in this because of the Plaid powertrain itself and the details we know about it so far. First of all, we know that the Plaid powertrain uses three motors. 
Three motors will allow for better control and better performance both on the track and on the drag strip. Automatically with three motors, it's going to be easy for Tesla to beat the Lucid Air, which has two motors. Also, I believe at the upcoming battery day on September 22nd, when Tesla reveals their new battery tech, I believe one of the things they're going to talk about is that they're able to achieve a greater energy density both at the cell level and at the pack level. And that will allow the Plaid Model S to weigh less than the current Model S, even if they increase the battery capacity like they're saying they will. The current Model S does weigh a hefty 4,900 plus pounds, but I believe Tesla is going to be able to make the Plaid Model S a little lighter, even with that extra motor because of improved battery energy density. Also, while we don't actually have the performance numbers for the Plaid powertrain in the Model S, we do have some of the numbers for that Plaid powertrain in the Roadster, which is obviously a faster, lighter vehicle because it's not a four-door sedan, However, we can use those numbers as a potential starting point, and I believe that the Model S with the Plaid powertrain should be able to achieve some numbers very similar to the halfway point between the current Model S performance and what the Roadster should be able to achieve. So as you can see on this chart, if you take a look at the Model S performance and the 0 to 100 mile per hour time, the 0 to 60 mile per hour time, its top speed and also its quarter mile time, and you compare that to the upcoming Tesla Roadster, and if you split the difference and say that the Plaid powertrain and the Model S will achieve stats somewhere in between those two, that would mean that the 0 to 100 mile per hour time for the Plaid Model S could be somewhere around 5.3 seconds. The 0 to 60 mile per hour time for the Plaid Model S could be somewhere around 2.1 seconds. The top speed should be somewhere over 200 miles per hour. And the quarter mile time could potentially be as low as 9.63 seconds. If the Plaid Model S is able to achieve these kind of performance numbers, this is how it would compare to the Taycan and the Lucid Air. As you can see with these estimates, it wouldn't be too far-fetched for it to beat the Lucid Air quite handily. Now once again, you could doubt that Tesla is going to be able to get these kind of numbers from the Plaid Model S. However, Tesla is going to be getting some really impressive numbers from a big, huge vehicle like the Cybertruck with this same Plaid powertrain. According to Tesla's website, the 0 to 60 mile per hour time for the tri-motor Cybertruck is going to be less than 2.9 seconds. If Tesla is able to achieve a 0 to 60 mile per hour time with a huge heavy Cybertruck, I don't believe it's too far-fetched that they'll be able to achieve a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 2.1 seconds or possibly even better with the Plaid Model S. But there is something that Lucid is working on that makes this really interesting. Roden Show put out an article talking about the fact that a three motor version of the Lucid Air performance could be coming out soon and this could be competitive with the Plaid Model S. So while I believe that Tesla will be able to easily beat the Lucid Air when it comes to performance with their Plaid powertrain, I do believe that Lucid will try to one-up this with a future release. I believe over the next year or so, there's going to be a lot of releases and improvements for the Plaid Model S and also the Lucid Air, and we'll see each one trying to beat the other. The chain of events could very possibly happen like this. Tesla releases the Plaid Model S, which beats the current Lucid Air. Lucid Motors then releases their three-motor performance version, which slightly beats the Plaid Model S. Tesla then releases a faster version of the Plaid powertrain, which then beats Lucid. Then Lucid releases a four-motor version of their powertrain, and then Tesla one-ups that. I think this is going to be a constant back and forth with each company trying to have the record for the fastest all-electric four-door sedan and then potentially maybe Lucid Air will try to bring out something that beats the Tesla Roadster. Whether or not they'll be able to is a whole nother story, but I believe this competition is going to make it really fun to watch. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because that helps other people find the video as well. Thank you so much.